right, it's time to test your agricultural expertise. This is our thingamajig for the week. Do you think you know what it is? Here's a hint. It has a handle, but it's not a water pump. Stay tuned, and we'll have the answer at the end of the show. Remember our thingamajig? Did you guess it? Our clue was that it's not a water pump. This is a sausage stuffer used to make homemade sausage. Ground meat went in the top, and the empty casing went on this end. Then you'd push the handle down, and the meat was stuffed out into the casing, making a sausage. Congratulations if you got it right. All right, it's time to test your agricultural expertise. This is our thingamajig for the week. You think you know what it is? Well, here's a hint. It is not for sword fighting. And it needs batteries. Stay tuned, and we'll have the answer at the end of the show. Remember our thing of a jig? Did you guess it? Our clue was it's not for sword fighting, and it uses batteries. This is a hay moisture tester. You poke this end into a hay bale, and it tells you how dry the hay is. If the hay is too wet, it can get moldy, which is bad for livestock. Congratulations if you got it right. All right, it's time to test your agricultural expertise. This is our thingamajig for the week. Do you think you know what it is? Well, here's a hint. It's not a giant coat hanger. Stay tuned and we'll have the answer at the end of the show. We're not finished. Did you guess our thingamajig? The clue was that it's not a giant coat hanger. This is called a double tree or an evener. When two horses are pulling something, they don't always pull at the same speed. A farmer would attach this part of the double tree to his equipment, and one horse would pull on each side. Even if they pull at different speeds, it keeps the farmer going in a straight line. Congratulations if you got it right. All right, it's time to test your agricultural expertise. This is our thingamajig for the week. Do you think you know what it is? It's small, it's black, and it has this metal rod on top. Here's a hint, you attach it to a garden hose. Stay tuned and we'll have the answer at the end of the show. Remember our thingamajig? Did you guess it? Our clue was that it attaches to a garden hose. This is a drill pump. Just connect it to a drill and there it goes. A farmer might use it to empty a water tank or to transfer liquid from a big container to a smaller one. Congratulations if you got it right. All right, it's time to test your agricultural expertise. This is our thingamajig for the week. Do you think you know what it is? Well, here's a hint. It's not used for cracking walnuts. Stay tuned and we'll have an answer at the end of the show. Remember our thingamajig? Did you guess it? Our clue was that it's not a nutcracker. This is a shoe leather stretcher. If you have a tight spot in your shoe or your boot, you just place this inside and squeeze and it'll stretch the leather in that spot. Great if you have bunions. Congratulations if you got it right. And while we're on the subject, it's time to test your agricultural expertise. Our thingamajig for the week is part of a steam engine. Do you think you know what it is? Well, here's a hint, this part spins. Stay tuned and we'll have the answer at the end of the show. Now hold on, we're not done yet. Remember our thingamajig? Did you guess it? Our hint was that it's part of a steam engine. This is called a centrifugal governor. It helps control the engine's speed so it doesn't go too fast or too slow. For a more detailed explanation, visit our Facebook page. Congratulations if you got that one right. All right, Al, it's time to test everybody's agricultural <laughs> expertise. Is it time for the thingamajig? Yes, okay. it is. And this time we decided to wrap it. Oh my gosh, now, no that. peeking. Can I give it a shake? A little one. Okay. Oh, no, I think you broke it. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, it's supposed to make that noise. Okay. That's your clue. Now, stay tuned, and we'll have the answer at the end of the show. Now hold on, we're not done yet. Oh. It's time to open the thingamajig. Let's see what it is, Al. Okay. 
Oh, no wonder he's making noise. The jingle bells, look at those. They're actually antique sleigh bells. Wealthy families would attach these to their horse-drawn sleigh or buggy so that people could hear them approaching from a distance. Just like that. Yeah, <laughs> congratulations if you got it right. All right, now it's time to test your agricultural knowledge. This is our thingamajig for the week. Now, obviously, this is a milkometer. I mean, it says it right here. But can you guess what it does? No hints this time. Stay tuned, and we'll have the answer at the end of the show. Remember our thingamajig? Did you guess it? It says milkometer, but what does it do? Well, when connected to a milking machine, this measures the milk output of an individual cow. That way, a farmer can compare cows and track milk production. Congratulations if you got it right. All right, it's time to test your agricultural expertise. This is our thingamajig for the week. Do you think you know what it is? It has a lid and it has these metal inserts. Now here's a hint, it's not a chicken feeder. Stay tuned and we'll have the answer at the end of the show. Remember our thingamajig? Did you guess it? Our hint was that it's not a chicken feeder. This is an old fashioned water bath canner. You boil water in here and stack jars of food in these holders. Then the hot water sterilizes and seals the jars so your jam or pickles won't spoil. Congratulations if you got it right. All right, it's time to test your agricultural expertise. This is our thingamajig for the week. You think you know what it is? Well, here's a hint. It works hard during the winter too. Stay tuned and we'll have the answer at the end of the show. Now hold on, we're not done yet. Remember our thingamajig? Did you guess it? Our clue is that just like a farmer, it works hard during the winter too. This is a water trough de-icer. Water tanks quickly freeze over during the winter, making it hard for livestock to drink. A farmer would put this waterproof electric heater in the trough and keep the ice melted and animals hydrated. Congratulations if you got it right. All right, it's time to test your agricultural expertise. This is our thingamajig for the week. You think you know what it is? Well, here's a hint. It clicks, but it's not a pen. Stay tuned and we'll have the answer at the end of the show. Remember our thingamajig? Did you guess it? Our clue is that it clicks, but it's not a pen. This is a pig drinker, also called a hog nipple. You attach it to a water source, and when the pig bites down, it sprays water into their mouth so they can drink. Animals get thirsty too, you know. Congratulations if you got it right. All right, it's time to test your agricultural expertise. This is our thingamajig for the week. You think you know what it is? It's got a wooden handle and a wire bottom, and here's a hint. It is not a snow shovel. Stay tuned and we'll have the answer at the end of the show. Remember our thingamajig? Did you guess it? Our hint was that it's not a snow shovel. It's a corn shovel. The gaps allow loose corn to fall through, but not the full ears. This shovel can also be used to dig up root vegetables like potatoes and shake off the loose dirt. Congratulations if you got it right. All right, it's time to test your agricultural expertise. This is our thingamajig for the week. You think you know what it is? Well, here's a hint. It's not a colander or a party hat. Stay tuned and we'll have the answer at the end of the show. Now hold on, we're not done yet. Remember our thingamajig? Did you guess it? Our clue was that it's not a colander or a party hat. This is an applesauce maker, sometimes called a food mill. You put soft cooked apples inside and you roll this around to squeeze the applesauce through the holes. Congratulations if you got it right. 
Tune in next week for another thingamajig, along with more stories from the diverse, passionate folks working to feed our state. I'm Joanne Clendenning. Thanks for watching.